G'day, Professor Joseph Drew. This video is made for council staff and regulators and ministers and all those sorts of things. Sorry about the radio songs, been very busy. It's about the irony of central auditing, being audited by an Auditor General's office. Lots of states are, New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia. This will give you an insight into central auditing that you probably haven't realised previously. I'm an economist. I'm also uh, got a master's in accounting and, and postgrad in theology and all sorts of things, but I'm principally an economist. That's what they call me at present, professor of local government economics. And economists hate monopolies. Did you know monopoly was made to show, it was designed, created to show people how awful and terrible and loathsome monopolies were? and most people just think it's awesome buying up lots of property and extorting other people. That wasn't the point of the games, <laughs> but never mind. Economists hate monopolies, why? If there's a monopoly, if there's only one provider, they can give you really rubbish service and charge you there for it. That's the problems with monopolies. That's why we don't like monopolies. Now, because we don't like monopolies and we're worried about the abuse of monopoly power, a lot of states have rate capping or local government taxation capping. So they have it in Victoria. We've had it in New South Wales since the 70s. Long-standing arrangement. We have rate capping because we're worried that if we didn't, local governments would become inefficient and would price gouge and be unresponsive. I don't actually believe those things would have happened. But now let's think about central auditing. So until a few years ago, certainly in New South Wales, councils could get whatever licensed auditor they wanted to audit their financial statements. Now, what did that mean? We had a market for auditing. Lots of different people competing on price, on quality, on speed. Lots of different people with lots of different perspectives on auditing, but all regulated by the Australian Auditing Standards. To be a licensed auditor, there's rules that are reinforced by law and you've got to follow them. So there's a certain consistency. There's very strong responsibilities for auditors. I was an auditor in the bank many, many years ago and well aware of it. Now we brought in central auditing. Now, I'll do a mea culpa here. I was in favour of central auditing when I first, first thought of it. Certainly not now. I've seen the change. And what happened, we went from competition, competition on price, speed, um, expertise, experience, to having one provider. Now, I've recently published a few years ago now with uh, my former PhD student, a paper showing that this has bad outcomes. Fees are going up considerably and our rate payers are paying it because we're working in a monopoly environment. Speed has gone down considerably. In March, I still had like 13 councils waiting for their financial statements to be audited in March from the June 30 of the year before. Speed's just, it's made the financial statements not achieve the purpose set out in the accounting standards reinforced by law, which is that they're relevant and reliable and timely. They're not. You're getting them like nine months later. The law says we should get them in the beginning of November, and it's like nine months later, I'm still waiting for the things. It makes it really hard because we don't have evidence. Without evidence, we can't do good research. We can't give people good advice. So that's another thing that's proved in the literature to have happened. Yet a third problem with central auditing is we've gone from having packs of Smarties with lots and lots of different colours to having packs of Smarties that are just the blue one. Now, I like blue Smarties, but I don't want to have, ever open a packet and only have blue Smarties. And that's what we've done. We've standardised things too much, particularly in terms of depreciation accruals. And that's actually contrary to the intent of the IFRS and the AASB. You know, it's the depreciation accruals supposed to show the consumption of a long-lived asset over time. 
every accounts, particularly when you're looking at roads, different substates, straits, different traffic volumes, uh, different climate, different climatic events, different size pebbles, different whether you do two seals or one, if you do the two seals straight away or you wait the two years, all those sorts of things. You can't get an auditor who knows most nothing about most of those things overlay their particular standardized rules that they're getting from the auditor general onto a council because you will just end up with everyone was more or less the same uh, depreciation accrual structure for their roads which is not reflective of the climate the substrate the pebbles used how many seals done etc etc and that defeats the whole point of doing depreciation so that's another major problem a fourth major problem I didn't put up there is that a lot of rural councils still have exactly the same person turn up and do their audit, but now they get to pay twice as much for it because the Auditor General can't get out to all the councils. So they outsource the work and that just costs the ratepayers more. It's extremely ironic to me that we have a rate capping environment which is causing havoc in local government because we hate monopolies. And then we go and set up a monopoly for auditing. Makes you wonder. And this is backed up by theory. It's backed up by empirical research that I did myself. It's not my opinion. And this is what scholars deal in. They deal in truth, guided by theories that have, have withstood the test of time, and they test it against actual empirical work. You may or may not like the facts. If you're from the Auditor's General Office, you probably don't like the facts at all. Or like me, I can't do anything about it. As Ben Maimonides, my favourite philosopher, said, the truth is truth, whether we all believe it or we all disbelieve it. The Auditor General could change their practices. Councils could change their practices. Ministers could think, well, this is a little bit um, contradictory. We think monopolies are awful and then we set up a monopoly there's lots of things we can do about the facts I'm just telling you what they are look if you found this video helpful make sure you subscribe recruit flick around all those things thumbs up give me a nice little comment in the comment section there's all sorts of things you can do to help me get the motivation to do the research that you need and convey it in a way that you can get access to it and do something with it that's all this is all about helping you to so help me to help others thank you very much for your time goodbye